Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be discussing yet more leaked information which has been discovered in the game coding of GTA 5 relating to the Heist DLC and some potential vehicles that also could be included in the DLC. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now first of all, I want to give credit to where credit is due. All of the information which I have to share with you guys was discovered by FunMW2. He is a very reliable source and leaks a lot of information, so full credit goes to this guy and a huge thank you as well. There will be a link in the description to his Twitter and also a link to the original forum post where the following information will be coming from. So earlier today, FunMW2 tweeted out on his Twitter account stating he has found three new vehicles in the game coding of GTA 5, these being a new gang burrito, a tanker and a boxville. So basically these three vehicles have recently been added to the game coding of GTA 5 but at the moment are not available to use either in story mode or online. So it is possible that these three vehicles may be included in the Heist DLC and they may become available to use once the DLC is released. Either that or they're going to be included in another DLC which may be released in the near future. But anyway, moving on to the next bit of information which I have to share with you guys. So being displayed in the video right now, there is a screenshot of a list of vehicles taken directly from the game coding which at the moment are not available online. Now for example we have the Hydra, the Insurgent and the Technical. These are all vehicles which we know will be included in the Heist DLC. But in this list there is also the Tanker, the Gang Burrito and the Boxville. So let's go through each of these three vehicles and start discussing what each of these are. So let's begin with the Gang Burrito. So being displayed in the video right now, the Gang Burrito of course is the MC Burrito Van. Now there is going to be a second variant of this one and that's basically what this line of coding is referring to. Now the MC Burrito Van is known as a blacklisted vehicle. That basically means that although you can drive it around in free roam, you can't actually store it inside of your garage, which is a huge disappointment because it's a really cool vehicle and it's very popular as well. But hopefully the new gang vehicle, the second variant, will be storable. I'm sure this decision would be hugely popular, but I'm Unfortunately, my guess is that the vehicle itself will be exclusive to the heist missions and used by an opposing gang. But anyway, let's move on to the second vehicle and start discussing the Boxville. Now there are in fact many different variants of the Boxville already available in GTA 5 and being displayed in the video right now there is a screenshot of one of the many different variants. And the third and final vehicle also found is the Tanker 2. The Tanker of course being the fuel tanker which is already in GTA 5 and you can see being displayed in the video right now there is an example. Just to clarify the truck pulling the tanker has nothing to do with the actual vehicle itself. Now it doesn't take a detective to work this one out. The Tanker 2 will simply be the exact same as the tanker but just have different decals on them. So anyway, I want to know your thoughts about these three vehicles found in the game coding of GTA 5, so be sure to leave a comment on the video and let me know what you guys think of these. Also be sure to take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button on this video, it does help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I would recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.